season is a time to get familiar with some familiar faces. Right now we're getting to know at least one of the people that represents us in office here in Western New York. We have Assemblywoman Crystal People Stokes joining us on the couch this morning. Your home, uh, the Assembly is not in session right now, so this is a time for you to get out in the district and get to know some of the people that you represent, and you're going to be taking part in a special holiday event coming up in a yes, couple of weeks. Yes, this is our actually our third opportunity to do a Christmas tree lighting. Uh, in the Martin Luther King Park, which, as you know, is the Olmstead Park. Mm -hmm. uh, three years ago, the uh, Olmstead uh, Conservancy was able to get someone to donate a tree. The tree has been planted, and it is growing very nicely, and so every year we light the same tree. Between 4.30 and 5 o'clock, there'll be choirs and hot chocolate and um, cookies. Very nice. And Who a good donated time. the tree? The tree was donated by a, a landscaper whose name I can't recall right now because I didn't think I would bring that up, but it was donated and it's a beautiful tree mm -hmm. and it seems to be growing very quickly. Um, Olmstead is very uh, helpful to us because they go out and put the lights up for us and once they get turned on they'll come on every day uh, until after Christmas. Very and it's nice. a very beautiful thing to see. It's directly across the street from the ice skating rink at the corner of Best and um, Fillmore. All right, so that'll be happening on the afternoon of December 13th. Kind of December a metaphor 13th. for um, the downtown area that something was planted and it's growing every year. You've been in the assembly for more than 10 years now. Yes. And you've really been around for a lot of the recent growth and development here. And in the city. it is very, very exciting. Uh, not just the growth in the economy, but uh, the growth in the hopefulness of the people uh, of the city and of the district. Yesterday I was at a meeting for Say Yes to Education where they were providing an update on how well that's going and the kinds of impacts that it's having on children and young people and families' lives. And when you put those two things together, uh, you know that we are growing in a significant way mm -hmm. in Buffalo and Western New York, and it's very exciting to be a part of it. When you were first elected to the Assembly in 2003, did you think that Buffalo would be experiencing so much Yes, I, you know what, I really hate to say it, but I did. Mm -hmm. I really so did, quickly. and I actually said that it was going to happen because um, just the only way you can get people to feel hopeful is you have to encourage them that things are going to change. And then you have to be about the business of trying to make sure those things change. So when great ideas came up, uh, as opposed to what has happened in the past with some electeds, the people who were elected worked together to make sure that everything happened and begin moving forward. And I think it's, you know, it's a huge tribute to the Western New York delegation uh, of the state. It's a huge tribute to all elected officials who somehow figured a way to work on politics of policy as opposed to politics of personalities. And it's working for Buffalo and Western New York, and we want to keep it going that way. Looking ahead to the next legislative session starting up in 2015, what are some other goals of the Western New York delegation? Well, I think one of the things we have to make sure is that the remainder of the Buffalo billion stays in the budget. Mm -hmm. That's clear we have to do that because we're still working on a lot of great things there. And then there's Is huge... that in danger of not being in the budget? Um, well, um, I wouldn't say that it's in danger, but you, you never know during budget time. You have mm -hmm. to watch these things. Okay. Um, there are some other communities across the state who, quite frankly, would like to have a billion designated yeah. to their area as well. Sure. So, um, we, you know, we have colleagues that would like to see the same sort of economic development um, intensity in their community. So you have to, you know, you have to pay attention to these things. I think the other big thing is, is district, which is the Medicaid redesign uh, that's looking to reform the way we provide, send Medicaid dollars to Western New York quite frankly, all over the state. So there's a meeting on that as well. It's going to be held at the ECMC on, on December the 9th. And it's specifically looking how do you get Medicaid dollars uh, to the providers as opposed to being hospital-based, which much of it is right now. Okay, and that's an open meeting as well. That's an open meeting. It's uh, December the 9th. It's going to be at the ECMC hospital in the third floor auditorium. And it'll be starting at 6 o'clock. and should be over by 8. But it's something that particularly providers and caregivers should want to get out and get all the information on that. All right, that very important topics as well. Thanks so much, Assemblywoman Crystal People Stokes for being here today. Welcome. Merry Christmas Pleasure to you. To Good here. luck with that MLK tree lighting in a couple weeks and uh, as you head into the next session next next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having us. We'll toss back things. They're toss things back out now to Emily Lanahan who's standing by.